Welcome to Dr. Campbell's office. Just fill that out and have a seat and he'll be with you shortly. Okay, thanks. So, uh, what are you in for? Excuse me? Uh, what brings a girl like you to a place like this? It's a little bit of a personal question, don't you think? Sorry, um, I'm not too good at the whole small talk thing. It's all right. Well, maybe you could help me. What? Well, like you see, I'm, I'm continually trying to improve myself. So whenever I make a mistake or I mess up, I just try to figure out what I could have done. Um, I don't know. Uh, mention the weather, I guess. It's a nice day, that sort of thing. Oh. That's, that's pretty lame. You got it, Mr. Crow? I'm giving you the old standard doctor's advice. Then don't do that anymore, okay? Mm. Thank you. I will do my best. Are you, are you nervous? No. I'm a little nervous. Thank you for your visit, Mr. Crow. Thank you. See you soon. The doctor will see you now. Hello there. Hello. Just hop up onto the table there and uh, tell me what's been bothering you. Well, doctor, I fear it's the nightmares again. You fear them? Well, yes, but that's not what I'm saying. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you saying then? I think the nightmares are acting up again. And how are they acting? They aren't acting like anything, but I fall asleep and I wake up screaming and crying. Crying and screaming. Well, that won't do. With your permission, I'd like to try something a little unorthodox here. Anything to stop them. Yes, doctor? Could you send in the next patient, please? Of course. The doctor will see you now. Please, come in, have a seat. I asked you two to be here because you uh, each face a similar issue. And I thought that a little group therapy might be the best way to fix it for each of you. Now, I want you to explain your nightmares to each other. You start. It all starts when I'm alone in this spooky house. Then I hear groaning coming from the basement. I find the stairs and even though I don't want to, I walk down into the darkness. The groaning, it gets louder and I hear that rattling of chains and I could tell it's coming from behind this old, beat-up, paint-peeled door. I open the door, and this hairy, slobbering, rabid wolf-like creature leaps right at my throat. And that's when I wake up screaming. You see? You're not alone in this. And remember, there's safety in numbers. Keep that in mind tonight, and I promise you'll wake up tomorrow in a much brighter way. And then I hear a groaning sound from the basement. I find the stairs, and even though I don't want to, I go down them. The groaning gets louder, and I hear that rattling of chains. I can tell that this sound is coming from behind this old, beat-up, paint-peeled door. I open the door. And remember, there's safety in numbers. Keep that in mind tonight, and I promise that you'll wake up tomorrow in a much brighter way.